Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another exciting episode of the Mod Squad Gamer Show. Joining me as always, we do have Kevin. What's up? What's up? And Harley. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? Doing pretty good. Pretty good. Been a uh, long week already, but we're we're making it through. Feel that exactly. Feel that as long as we're making it through, that's all that matters, right? That is right. That is definitely true. Even if we got to start over. (laughs) That's true. That is true. Definitely. Oh, well, we have lots of exciting things. So sorry, y'all. The Oklahoma weather is kicking my behind. Uh, We got lots of exciting things tonight. Start us out. We do have Skelectomy by Jolt7 Studios. They are sponsoring us another time for another month here. So make sure y'all go and check them out. Lots of cool things. Joker skulls. We got Star Wars. They got Harley Davidson. They got. They did oh. Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. All kinds of things. So make she's sure done some all... Walking Dead ones here recently too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So make sure you go over and check her out. Let her know that we sent you. Um, as always, y'all know we have shirts. These shirts. You can message Kevin. Yep. Just or check us out on the Mod Squad Facebook page as well, and uh, check out our limited edition shirt for the month. Show your pride with the Mod Squad Network. So, all right, I think I'm gonna start it off with Kevin tonight. All right. So Street Fighter was just announced, and it is coming off to some great reviews. It's getting a nine point five uh, per Game Informer. Uh, everybody's loving the expanded rosters. The gameplay of it is just phenomenal. Um, it, it's, it's been one of those fighting games that, you know, Street Fighter has missed on, on five, but six seems to have corrected everything. So, uh, yeah, definitely go check out Street Fighter six. It's getting some great reviews at the moment. So there you go. So, uh, let's just go ahead and pass this on to Harley. Okay, so mine's not technically games, but it is game accessory related. (laughs) So, man arrested for using NES duck hunt gun in a robbery. 25-year-old David robbed a convenience store called the Quickie Mart. The Quickie Mart? The Quickie (laughs) Mart from the Simpsons. Love it. (laughs) Got about $300. In the process of robbing the Quickie Mart. Did he get and a I do Slurpee have a too? Picture. <laughs> I do have a picture of the gun. As we all know, they came in the standard orange or gray for duck cut. Well, yep. he decided he's going to spray paint it orange. I mean, black. black. And well, the sheriff department has put it on their Instagram or their Twitter, I'm sorry. And they have it tagged. Here's a picture. They, got it. they put a gun lock on it. <laughs> they put a gun lock on this Nintendo gun. <sighs> I love that. I'm just curious. He only, got, he only got three hundred dollars. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yo, what would you say, Ginger? Did he what? Oh, I said I was just curious if he had his dog with him or not. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he was outside laughing the whole time. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> so that is all I have for my first one. Go ahead, Ginger, what you got? <laughs> I want to start us out with a gameplay trailer of the new Texas Chainsaw game. Um, I know they just did like a public test on this. I saw a lot of people on like Twitch and stuff like that kind of playing it. Um, but just to give you guys a little bit of an inside look of what this game is going to look like, um, we'll go ahead and play this and then we'll talk more about it. There we go. <laughs> Booty! <laughs> I love that they started it like that. I was like, yeah. <laughs> this is quite popular on Twitch right now. Mm-hmm. This is going to be fun. <laughs> You know I can't let you leave. Better run, squirrel. <laughs> Ooh. You can't hide from me. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, this is this is definitely one of those games that I feel like when it comes out, I'm definitely going to be playing it quite a bit. Uh, I was looking down because I'm trying to figure out. Yes, so August 18th is the official release date for that game. Um, I'm buying it like day one. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it looks badass. I'm probably I might get that too. For, to tell you the truth, that may be one of the few uh, horror type games that I may actually uh, sit down and play. So. I say we get it and we all play it together. We should. We definitely should. Yeah, I was actually should. planning on getting it. Very awesome. cool. We could have a mod squad gamer night, so we could do it on Twitch one of these nights. Uh, then we can, um, you know, talk about it with uh, all the mod squatters. Yeah, I'm definitely down. Um, one one thing I was excited about with this game is it really is a like be quiet and hide in the shadows kind of game. Like you have to hide in the dark. Um, a lot of the doorways are gonna have I don't know if you saw it in the trailer, but those um, like those lines that hang down with the bones on them. Yeah, and you have yeah. to try not to like to activate those when you're walking through. So it's a lot of like you have to be quiet, you have to hide in the shadows. Um, so I think it's gonna be fun. So it's different than like Dead by Daylight where you're just running around trying to do generators. You're actually hiding and stuff like that. I know you can hide in Dead by Daylight in like lockers mm -hmm. and stuff like that, but no one ever really does. I've never seen anybody really do that. They just always try to outrun the person. My husband's been watching a lot of streamers play that on Twitch here lately. Like that was his, we're buying this game and it's been watching nothing but that here lately. Oh, and real quick, speaking of Dead by Daylight, we did lose one of our big Dead by Daylight streamers. Her, his name, sorry, his name was Puppers. Um, so R.I.P. to him. I know he was a big, big part of the fog. So R.I.P. man, R.I.P. for sure. All right, so uh, we have some Madden is coming up. I'm excited for Madden. I get Madden every freaking year it's one of those games that i just can't not get it comes out on august 18th on playstation 5 xbox series s playstation 4 xbox uh, one and pc they have updated all the receiver models to where um, they run better routes the uh you can dive and catch the ball now you can actually jump and throw the ball as a quarterback you can um the, the, the mechanics of it they've changed to try to make it feel more updated to what the nfl is now so i they have to do something because it almost seems like a, the, a same port with different roster every year for mm -hmm. um madden so i'm glad that they're doing something a little bit different to make it feel more like a real game. So I'm excited for this. Madden coming out this year and next year, NCAA AA coming out along with Madden to where if they do it like they have before, you can import your rosters from uh, NCAA to Madden. So I'm excited. Uh, I'm excited for the future of football games. Uh, so uh, that's, that's what I have for that. Harley, what is your next one? Okay, so it was announced today that McFarland Toys and Blizzard Entertainment have signed a licensing agreement. So McFarland said that he is looking for, he wants to try to do within the walls of McFarland and find ways to make bigger, more cool toys so he's going to be doing world of warcraft warhammer diablo figurines of these games that we all well me and ginger play world of warcraft yeah. so it's exciting the fact that mcfarland's getting his hands into that franchise right there yeah. and i am super excited to see what he does with these characters yeah, he's he's done the he's done uh, Mortal Kombat and stuff like that. McFarland toys, if if you already know, like I collect a lot of McFarlands. The um, details in those figures are amazing. 
Um, I, I really like that. So anybody who's a WoW fan or Diablo and Blizzard Entertainment in general is going to really be, if you're into collectibles and games, you're going to like that. I'm super excited to get like a blood elf, a female blood elf mate, like McFarlane female blood elf toy. Because <laughs> I played Horde, I play Horde on World of Warcraft, so I'm super excited. I just so Ginger, what do you got for us? <laughs> um, so next on my list, I do have some updates. I know that we talked about uh, Amnesia the Bunker that was coming. Mm-hmm. So I do have some some updates kind of on the gameplay and different things like that. Um, So this one's a little bit different than the original Amnesias. Um, First of all, we know that most of the time it was there was monsters that were in certain like corridors and they kind of just were in that space. And that's the only time you really ran into them. Mm -hmm. Um, New Amnesia, the monster, which I think they called it the stalker. Don't quote me on that because I can't remember right now. Um, But it lives in the walls and the ceiling of the entire, like the entire map. Um, So it can come up at any time. It's triggered by sound, which is really cool. Um, So if you're making a lot of racket, (laughs) um, it's gonna come find you, right? So it's not stuck in a specific area. You don't just run into it in specific spots. Like it can get you anytime throughout the game. Um, They also are giving you weapons in this one. Um, So you have like a gun, you've got grenades. The only thing that sucks is this thing can take a bullet to the face and it may leave you alone for a couple of minutes, but it's not going to stop it. Um, so I don't know what's scarier, not being able to fight it at all or being able to shoot or hit it with a grenade. And this thing just gets more and more pissed off the more that you mess with it. Yeah, that's scary. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought. Um, but this one also has really good ratings right now. So like Steam's okay. got it as a nine out of 10 um, open critics got it at a 76%, which still decently high. And then IGN has it as a eight out of 10. Um, so That's I need to play this game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, you know, I think anything above an eight or a seven, five right now is a great game in my opinion, especially when you get multiple ratings above that. So mm-hmm. I agree. All right. Um, I have, check it out, Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles is getting a new DLC. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge keeps the ninja party going with a reveal of Dimension Shellshock DLC. Launching later this year, this upcoming add-on takes the turtles and their friends through time and space and takes on new threats with the help of a familiar ally. Ronin Rabbit Usagi Ujimbo joins the game as a playable character. So anybody who loves the turtles and loves uh, Usagi Jimbo is going to love this because, I mean, it's a rabbit. It's a ninja rabbit. I don't <laughs> love a ninja rabbit, man. I mean, you got the Ninja Turtles, which are cool, but let's face it. If it would have been Teenage Mutant Ninja Rabbits, I would have watched that too. Agree. <laughs> yeah. So uh, that's all I have for that. Harley, how about you? Okay, so Nintendo reveals that you can customize your Explorer in New Pikmin 4 trailer. I have that trailer. But first, it is due to hit Nintendo Switch on July 21st. As for the storyline, you play as a rescue explorer sent to a mysterious planet to rescue not one crew but two, each from a separate crash site. Before landing, though, you'll have to customize your Explorer. And I'm going to play that trailer for you, which will give you little details. And it's kind of cute looking game. This is the intrepid explorer, Captain Olimar. As fate would have it, he crash landed on a mysterious planet. After receiving his distress signal, the Noble Rescue Corps set off to retrieve the stranded captain. And they also crashed. Well, that's unfortunate. (laughs) Two crash landings in a row. But there is a beacon of hope. It 
It's you, the Rescue Corps' newest recruit who's risen to the occasion. You can do it, brave explorer. Embark on an expedition to save Captain Olimar and the entire Rescue Corps. What else will you find on this mysterious planet? Pikmin 4. Available July 21st only on the Nintendo Switch system. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Well, that just looked like a big bucket of cute. Well, from what it says, <laughs> you can uh, change their head shape, their body shape, their face, their hair, clothes, and much more. So you get to customize your character however you want to do it. They remind me of the little troll dolls from back in the day. That's what they remind me of. Uh, well, that is all I have. What do you got, Ginger? Um, so I've got one more thing <clears throat> that I want to cover. And so Silent Hill has always been something that is like near and dear to my heart, right? Like I played all the Silent Hill games, watched all the movies. Like it, it's it's an amazing like franchise overall, right? right. Um, so I do want to play this trailer. Um, I don't have an official release date on this, but it is due out this year. Um, so if I get an update on an actual release date, I will share that. But for the moment, I don't have a specific date. Um, but let's go ahead and check this out. I can feel it. I can feel it. Your guilt. So thick it chokes the air. Well, she said. <laughs> you want to know how I you can it. escape from this place. <laughs> but you can't. This looks pretty Any badass. more than you can escape yourself. And the pain you carry. It fills you up. Like a sickness, a disease that you pass on to everyone you meet, everyone you love, even your children. Because no matter how hard, how fast, how far you run. Yeah, that wouldn't freak me out or past, nothing. We'll catch up with you. Hey, it's me! <laughs> I'm not gonna say what that looked like. I was about to say the same thing. Very cool. <sighs> What can I say that the trailer didn't? You know what I mean? The graphics on it look freaking amazing. I, I swear, what they're doing with video games nowadays is just unreal. Unreal. I mean, you could it's it's a movie. It's a movie. You're playing a movie. That's what you're doing. Love it. Yeah, I definitely agree. Um, I I will say I don't get scared easy, right? Like I, I do a lot of horror stuff, I watch a lot of stuff, play a lot of games. Um, the Silent Hill games have been one of those ones that have gotten under my skin. I can see that. That's, that joint was creepy, man. Uh, trying to shut the door and then the hand comes through. and it's the, Anything that has the long fingers type thing, ju that's just creepy, man. Yes. Um, but yeah, this is going to be another one of those games that I definitely am going to get my hands on it as soon as it comes out. Very cool. Very cool. Maybe we'll do a playthrough on Twitch. We keep saying that. One day it'll happen, guys. One day it'll happen. <laughs> One day. Cross your fingers. Do not hold your breath, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I think that about does it. Want to wrap this up, Ginger? Uh, yeah, that that's all I've got. feel like we covered quite a bit. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Make sure that you guys come see us if you're going to be in Dallas. What is it? The... What it's is it, ninth through... 9th through 9th to 11th. Yeah, ninth through the 11th. Yes, the ninth through the 11th. We are going to be at Fan Expo. Yes. If you see us wearing a Mod Squad shirt, do not be scared to come up, shake our hands, say hi, take a picture. Uh, we may even have something for you. Who knows? 
who knows as always drop comments below of what games you want to play what games you're interested in so we can look them up and play them ourselves go ahead, check them out and do news on them yep all right well from ginger and kevin and harley hope you all have a great rest of your week bye